This air pump is kind of noisy, so I'll be turning down the sound. This is uh, just an air pump for inflating mattresses like you'd use for camping. It'll circulate, it'll blow air down through the tube past this filter here that's acting as a wick. There's just a tiny bit of gasoline in there, but this whole filter here is saturated. Then I'll come out to this torch end down here and I'll light it. I'm going to use this propane torch to light it. Turn the pump on. This is a nozzle end off a propane torch and just a hose. And this is a flapper check valve. And there's a T here, and this pipe goes straight through the T. I filed the ridge out there so the half inch pipe will go all the way down. And I got it marked, that'll be the bottom of the pipe. Yeah, this is a, just a pickle jar. And this is half of a water filter. And you put a little tiny bit of gas in there and it saturates this filter up and that tube that goes down will blow the air out through this filter. And then it'll go back in through this, this is half of a gas filter, and come back out through this three-quarter inch pipe you know, here. And this is just the supply air from the pump and a valve to control it. This wick carburating system that I have set up here is acting like an evaporative cooling device. As the air passes through this saturated filter, it evaporates the gas and it also cools it as it goes out. And as I've been working with this, there are two components I discovered that are necessary in order for it to work properly. The first one, and they kind of work together, and the first one is to have a surface area that's big enough that the air is passing through to get a good evaporation flow. And the second one, it's very crucial too, is to have enough heat in order to evaporate the gas. Because this cools as it goes out, and if there's not enough energy in there to evaporate the gas, not very much is going to be coming out and it's hardly even light the torch on the end. And as I was operating this right now, it was, I don't have, I'm not applying any heat. 
So it is cooling down as I'm using it, and it starts producing less vapors, and that's why it would go out over here, and I would have to relight it. I'd have to turn it down and relight it because I'm not applying heat to it. In order to get a continuous, steady flow out of here, heat would have to be applied to this too in order to get a good flow through there. Or two, maybe just a greater uh, surface area. I'm going to try that next, trying to get a greater surface area. But like if you're using it for a carburetor, it'd be possible to get heat off of the exhaust to heat the air up that's coming through this. Many years ago, I tried an evaporative carburetor where it's just a gas bubbler on a small engine. And it'll work for a little while, but as the temperature drops, you don't get enough vapors because it cools too much. It can't evaporate fast enough in order to run an engine, and that's why they slowly die down. And as you use those bubbler systems, you'll notice that the container that you got bubbling through will cool off. And you'll notice that maybe the engine will start slowing down as you start using this gas up. Because what's happening with that gas, the gas is made up of many different size molecules. And the lighter gas molecules will evaporate first and you'll burn that off. And your engine might be running great say, hey, I really got something here. And after a while, the larger molecules aren't evaporating and your engine will slow down and stop and you'll still have gas in there, but there's not enough heat energy to evaporate those heavier molecules. And so that's why a lot of those systems fail. This wicking carburetor is a little bit different because we've got a lot greater surface area that the air can pass through. And the end goal of this wicking carburetor experiments is to see if I can use up all the gas that's in there, all the heavier molecules too. So the next stage in these experiments, I think I'm gonna try a bigger filter and see how that'll work. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.